guys. It awesome. <laughs> Yay. Well, we just finished a game of pickleball. These two athletes over here, they won, but only because I'm not the best yet. It was my first time. He carried the team. Good job, Jerry. Um, I had a great time. What I want to talk about now, guys, is I want to talk about where can you play? Where can you get instruction? Equipment, how much is it? Um, I want you to tell that story you just told me about the actual paddle board itself. So let me start with you, Kathleen. Um, tell me, where can you play locally, pickleball? Well, fortunately, where we are right now, we have several options. Um, in Loveland, we have this park here, McCoy. There's also uh, a park in um, a little bit closer into to Loveland um, called Lever Park that has four courts as well. Okay. There are tennis courts that have been painted with pickleball lines like you see here, so with removable nets. Okay. Um, and they've been recently resurfaced and painted, so they're ideal. Um, there's also courts in the um, surrounding area of, Mil of Miami Township, or off Buckwheat Road in Miami Township. Okay. Um, there's also four courts in um, Montgomery on uh, Deerfield Road called Dully. Okay. They have four courts as well. Awesome. Um, these are all outdoor locations that you don't have to be a member to. You can just walk on. Okay. And then a lot of people have formed groups based on familiarity and frequent use and they've um, signed up on apps such as GroupMe to help communicate when people are going to be playing. Okay. There are times when some of the courts are reserved for different um, activities such as lessons, training um, through schools, but usually that's only for a short period of time. Okay. Um, and then there's also some indoor options that um, I might let Jerry help me with because I'm not quite as familiar with them. Absolutely. Jerry, so, um, let's talk about it. Indoor options, and I want you to touch on the Cincinnati Pickleball. You're an instructor, how you get involved with that. And then I'll move over to you to kind of talk about equipment, but I still want you to tell a story about the paddleboard. <laughs> yes. Uh, the indoor play actually starts, uh, they have uh, over on uh, East Kemper Road, it's, it's called Ronnie Grandison's Sports Academy. And he has 12 indoor pickleball courts. Does he really? Yes. I didn't even know that. Okay. And uh, that's where we'll be all winter. And that's that's normally, there's a fee involved. Uh, we normally sign up in October and that runs all the way through May of next year. Okay. So even we'll still be playing outdoor probably in November, but if we get a rainy day, we'll be able to go inside the Ronnie's place and Great. play. Great. That is awesome. So, um, like I said, uh, with the indoor, we use a different ball indoor, which okay. is, has, has bigger holes, uh, not as many holes as the outdoor ball for wind. Um, and the different paddles that we have, uh, this one I have particular, this was invented by a, uh, from a guy from MIT, and uh, it's got, it almost sounds like sand when you shake it, but it's, it absorbs the energy when the ball, pickleball is hit hard to you, that it doesn't travel up to your elbow and your so shoulder. And, but there's all places to get paddles. Uh, locally, we have, it used to be Midwest Tennis over on uh, 42. It's called Tennis Point now. Uh, they have a selection of paddles. You can get paddles at, I've seen them at Myers. Uh, Dick sells paddles. But uh, I would suggest if you do go, um, especially I belong to the Cincinnati Pickleball Club, and they have a, uh, they're one of our sponsors, uh, Tennis Point. Okay. And if you go over there and buy products from them and I'll tell them from you're from the Cincinnati Pickleball Club that they kick back money to our club to oh, help, wow. help us, you know, with leagues and right. tournaments that we sponsor ourselves. Uh, we get, there's 52 weeks of emails that you get. Uh, you get a weekly newsletter from the Pickleball Club. Awesome. They also have, uh, like I'm wearing their hat, they have different uh, shirts and hats that you can buy. Okay. And uh, so it's a nice, they have uh, little articles on pickleball. They'll show the shot of the week type of things Excellent. from different tournaments from the from the 5-0 players, the professionals. Right, right. And it's, it's, it's fun to, to look at those. Awesome. Now tell me a little bit about you. So tell me when you're getting ready, what all should you have? Where do you get the gear? You personally, I know you gave yeah. us some options, but tell me, because I mean, you two look like you're ready. I mean, you're ready, you got <laughs> everything ready. going. Tell me uh, like the cost. 
the How cost. much is yeah. it to just get all that gear and what right. you need? So Keep as you see, you know, just a t-shirt, uh, gym shorts, something yep. like that. Everybody has those. Absolutely. I, I would recommend court shoes. Okay. I, I did running shoes initially, and that was not good. And rolling ankles is a is a big problem here. So court shoes shoes are a little bit more stiff on the bottom. You can move around and reduce that chance of, of injury, of course, too. Now, do you go into the store saying, do you have court shoes? Yes, yes, Okay, exactly. I, I've never heard of that, so I just wanted right. to know. So, okay. like, tennis place, uh, places, as Jerry mentioned, the Tennis Express or the- Tennis Point. Tennis Point, mm -hmm. um, things like that. Go in there and say, this is what you're okay. doing, you know, tennis or um, pickleball. They'll help you out picking, picking out shoes. Okay. It's, it's worthwhile to spend some money on that. Yeah. Awesome. But as Jerry mentioned, you know, you can spend anywhere from forty to two hundred dollars on a paddle. As you get a little bit older, you do feel the the shock coming up your arm. I right. kind of had that initially got a better paddle. Right, right. It's kind of done away with that problem for me. Okay. And then the balls themselves, those are probably pretty inexpensive. They are. You can get like six balls. You can buy them at Walmart, for example, for fifteen dollars, and we just got a pack there. Or we okay. can buy them online, of course, too. Okay. And another thing about uh, trying out paddles, you can go online and, and request them to send you maybe four paddles try them out for a nominal fee $20 they'll send out um, uh, you know paddles that you can try out and, and play and say I like this one as opposed to you know uh, another one and then then buy the paddle that you like you can do that too as well okay excellent yeah. so I think we covered all the bases here guys uh, here we are in McCoy Park we played some pickleball I had a great time I think I'm gonna bring the fam over, gonna get some friends start playing. Uh, thank you guys so much. You're welcome. This was thank an you. excellent experience and everybody come out and try pickleball. Doesn't matter if you're 12 or if you're 75, everybody can do it. It's one of those sports to get your cardiovascular up, keep you in shape. It's a great thing. You guys have a beautiful day and uh, thank you for watching. See y'all later. Anyways, it was awesome, <laughs> yay. Yeah, we are. <laughs>